y'all, in just one minute, we'll explore why demanding submission is actually the man's way of creating a codependent relationship. Are you ready to explore the dynamics that can lead to unhealthy dependencies? Let's dive in. Submission involves yielding to someone else's authority or desires, while codependency is an unhealthy reliance on another person for emotional or psychological needs. Demanding submission often results in a significant power imbalance within a relationship where one person has more control and influence. In such dynamics, the person being demanded to submit may gradually lose their autonomy and decision-making power, becoming reliant on the other. Codependency often involves suppressing one's own needs, desires, and emotions to meet the demands and expectations of the dominant partner. The fear of disapproval or abandonment from the dominant partner can drive the submissive partner to comply with their wishes, even at the cost of their own well-being. Over time, codependency can lead to a loss of individual identity as the submissive partner's self-worth becomes intricately tied to the approval of the dominant partner. Codependency can foster an unhealthy emotional attachment where one partner feels they cannot function or be happy without the other. The submissive partner's self-esteem can suffer as they constantly seek validation and approval from the dominant partner. Codependency often hinders the development of self-reliance and personal growth as the submissive partner becomes overly reliant on the dominant partner. It's crucial to recognize the signs of codependency and work on establishing healthy boundaries, fostering self-worth, and regaining autonomy. Remember, demanding submission in a relationship typically leads (laughs) to codependency, which is detrimental to both partners' well-being. By fostering communication, mutual respect, and the importance of individual autonomy, we can build healthier and more balanced relationships where both partners thrive. Recognize the value of equality and self-worth in relationships and work towards creating a partnership that encourages personal growth, independence, and mutual respect. You've got the knowledge. Now let's apply it to create relationships that empower and nurture both parties equally. You've got this. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.